Hello everyone. I hope everyone's uh, doing well. I'm sorry it took so long to kind of get something up online for you guys to uh, to play with, but you know, it's uh, strange times. No one's really sure what to do. So today I'm going to rip through um, a simple workout that I believe uh, everyone can do and everyone can benefit from. So whether you're in the kids class, in the advanced class, or the um, or the, the white belt class at night. These are all things that are super important for you to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip through five very simple techniques that you can do by yourself, and uh, and then I'll show you how to break them down in order to make it a bit of a workout. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, one of the very first things I ever learned in jujitsu was self defense. It's called the teeter totter. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to feet up, guard position. Okay this height. Okay, what I'm going to do is I want to rock back and forth on my butt. If I want to move my body, my feet to the to the right, I use my right hand. Just rocking. Okay, if I want to move to the left, I use my left. The idea is if I'm a down opponent and I have to defend myself, then I always keep my feet between myself and my attack able to get myself to my feet and defend. So that's our first technique, okay? Our second technique, everyone knows because I cram it down your throat no matter how long you've been playing this game, and that is the shrimp, okay? If we're not able to move our hips, okay, we're, we're dead in the water, okay? So very important, a shrimp is, okay, I start with my feet underneath my body, up near my butt, so I'm able to move my hips out of the way. I'm pushing myself, out from underneath my opponent. Okay, so I'm pushing myself out. See, I let my one leg drop to the floor and then square my back guard position. Other leg to the floor. Okay, and also we have the backward shrimp. Okay, so I'm pushing away or I'm you driving my heels into the mat and I'm pulling myself back underneath. So pushing away or scooting back underneath to defend from the guard position. Okay, very important moves. Now you can shrimp in one spot. Okay. Or if you have a little room in your living room or some mat space, you can shrimp down the mat. It's up to you. Okay, forward, backward. Okay. Okay, next on the list is we I like to call uh, I like to call the Darnell, but if the Darnell is usually okay, I'll start sideways, outside leg. Reaches over and I spin all the way, so I'm facing the other way. Okay, reach over and spin. Here we go. Okay, if you don't have a lot of space, that's fine. We'll do the crepey legs right in place. Okay, very good. Super simple. Okay, next on the list, okay, is the shoulder bridge. Shoulder bridge, very basic. Okay, I wanna make sure I have my feels, my feet, and my feels all the way up underneath my butt. So I can drop my hips to the ceiling. If I reach up with my left shoulder, I reach with my right and opposite here. Okay, throw from the side. Okay, my hips go to the ceiling and I reach over my shoulder, back down to the floor. Your bum should touch every time. Push up and over, back down to the floor. Okay, that's your shoulder bridge. Okay, the next is we're gonna do a shoulder bridge. Okay, and we're gonna come up and do a shot. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna bridge up my shoulder. Okay, my hips are gonna go right, my left hand and my left leg are gonna go thread the needle underneath my body. I'm gonna get to my knees and I'm ready to wrestle. I'll get back to my feet, okay? Same thing out the other side. Okay, my hips go up. Okay, I thread the needle with my right leg, right arm, underneath my body, spin through, ready to wrestle. Okay, very good. So, and the last one I want you guys to do is gonna be the technical stand-up. Next to the shrimp, I think the most valuable thing you're gonna use in jiu-jitsu. Self-defense, MMA, okay? And now even modern jiu-jitsu, okay? The technical stand-up is just a butt scoot. So, left foot forward, right hand back. So my toes are pointed towards, in front of me, my fingers are pointed behind me, not out to the side, okay? like I'm holding the remote control out in front. I lift my hips off the mat. I'm gonna take my right foot, okay? I'm gonna put it back where my hand is, 
and now I'm ready to wrestle or ready to run or defend myself. Okay. Other side. Okay. Right foot, toes forward. Left hand. Fingers back. Okay. I'm going to lift my hips, put my left foot back where my hand is. I'm ready to wrestle. Okay. Or get ready to defend or run through the door. Okay. How are we going to make all these work together? Here's your drill. Okay. We're going to do, I'm out of shape. Bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna teeter-totter. Left, full circle, all the way around. Okay, I'm gonna teeter-totter right, full circle, all the way around. Okay, then comes my shrimps. Okay, shrimp right, shrimp left. And back and we go. Here and here. Okay, if you have no space, it's no problem. Out and in. Okay, out and in. Okay, now. Set three, we go back to the teeter-totter. Okay, all the way around, left. All the way around, right. Okay, shrimp twice. Okay, in. Okay. And then we're gonna go, either if we have the space, we'll go with the Darnell. Okay, two, four. If we don't have the space, we're just gonna go crazy legs. Okay, for four, three, four, good. Okay, and then we go back, two, okay, set three, which is gonna be, okay, the, uh, we're gonna add in shoulder briefs. So we're gonna go teeter-totter. All the way around left. All the way around right. We're gonna hit some shrimps. Good, okay, we're gonna do crazy legs. Okay, we're gonna do shoulder bridges. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna go back for our next set, which is teeter totter. Left, okay, right. Okay, hit our shrimps. Okay, we're gonna hit this crazy leg or the Darnell. Okay. And we're gonna go shoulder bridges. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're gonna go shoulder bridge to the wrestle. So we're gonna hips up, right leg underneath, right arm underneath, ready to wrestle, back over. Out the other side. Ready to wrestle. Okay, now we combine all those. One more set. Okay, and the last one, we're gonna work our technical stand up. Okay, so we're gonna go teeter totter. Left. Remember, the less your body that touches the mat, the easier it is for you to move. Okay, we're gonna shrimp. Okay, we're gonna crazy leg. We're gonna shoulder bridge. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go shoulder bridge, wrestle. Thread the needle underneath. Ready to wrestle. Other side, shoulder bridge. Underneath, ready to wrestle. Okay, and the last one, we're gonna combine. The last technique is we're gonna go technical stand up. So after that shot, we're here. Okay, it's left hand forward. Left, fit, left toes forward, right hand back, up. Okay, ready to defend. Okay, back down, other side. Right foot forward, left hand back, up. There you go, okay? So five techniques, built-in progression, so you don't have to worry too, too much. You're just adding one technique on top of each other as it goes. Guys, very important for every skill level. Okay, so take a half an hour. See me how many times you can get through that, okay? I'm out of shape, I'm sweating it, but it's a lot of hard work, a lot of core, and a lot of very functional jiu-jitsu that you can do by yourself. So, give it a shot. Doesn't matter, regardless of the age or skill level, how many times can you get that done in a half an hour, okay? I really appreciate uh, you guys sticking with me, and uh, I also really appreciate your feedback. So guys, let me know. This is gonna be the first one in many, many drills. 
and classes are going to put up online for you guys. Enjoy them. Work with them, okay? Get your parents to do them, okay? Get your brother and sister to do them. You got a whole house full of bored people, man. Make them do jiu-jitsu. It's the best thing that will ever happen to you. Uh, kids, uh, same thing I preach every single class. I know these are kind of strange times. You're stuck in your house. We all got to learn to kind of get along all day, every day. Guys, hard work, good listening, okay? That's the most important thing, okay? Why, show good posture. Why do we have good posture? Show us we're listening. Why do we need to listen? Okay, we need to listen so we can gather the information. Why do we need the information? We need the information so that we can all be successful. Okay, that's a, an athlete, a student, okay, a sibling, a child, even our parents. Everyone can learn by listening. Thanks for your time, guys. I'm going to, uh, once I stop sweating, I'm going to record us another one. All right, take it easy, guys. Thank you.